Yo guys, it's Arcade and today we are going to create reggaeton with vocals. And I'm really excited because we have the new Kashmir spec to play around with. So let's get to it. So here I am in FL Studio. We're gonna set the BPM to 100. Pretty good for reggaeton. We can go slower or a little bit faster, but 100 is pretty good. And let's get started producing. As I said, I have the new Sounds of Kashmir Volume 4 complete edition and if you guys watch my videos you know that I always use Kashmir spec in my production and this is the new one so I'm really excited to check it out if you want to check it out yourself I will link it in the description below as well so what should we start with maybe some inspiration so we can check out some of the song starters there is reggaeton in here as well and you have these sort of loops to help you start with So I'm probably not going to use this right now, but it is a great way to sort of check out how reggaeton is made. You know, you have the whole kit here to sort of see what sounds we should be using. So let me go to instruments and maybe start with like a guitar melody. So acoustic guitar, chords and Latin. That could work. What's this one? Okay, let's keep that loop in there and let's go for some vocals as well to inspire us. Hooks with lyrics. So yeah, you have some proper hooks here. I like this one. What if we lower it by two? So it's the same key. So as you can see, this is F sharp and this is E minor. So if you want to have it on the same key, you go to piano roll. You see where F sharp is right here and you want to lower it by two, one, two. So it's on E. So that's how you do that and you just pitch it down. You can see it in the left corner, minus 200 cents. That means we pitched it down by two keys. So now the vocal should be the same key as the guitar. La, 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 la. Oh yeah. La, 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 la. Oh yeah, I like that right away. What if we pitch both of them <laughs> and create some confusion maybe, but now the guitar is at F and the vocal is at F as well. La, 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 la. We can also use E3 mono. So E3 mono keeps the like vocal frequencies the same. Let me show you the difference here. So if you do E3 generic and you pitch it down like 500, let's say, the vocal will have this male tone. But if you keep E3 mono, it will keep the womanly voice. That is the difference between these two. You can definitely use them for vocals, but we're gonna just lower it by 100. Therefore, it's not gonna make much of a difference anyway. This is a really good start. I like this. I wanted to check out the crowd chants as well. which is pretty amazing. Like you have so much value in this sample pack. If you are just starting out and you want one sample pack, I would definitely recommend this one. And if you already have a lot of sample packs, this one is a great addition as well. So let's try this as well. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. We're just gonna sort of take some loops that I like, put them in there and we're gonna see if we can make them work in the song later. So this one is E minor. So we wanna pitch that up 100 plus. So it's F minor now. And also, as you can see, this is 128 BPM. We are working at 100 BPM. So another trick you can use for loops like these, they are usually meant to snap into four bars or eight bars, you know? So a shortcut to like set it to the right BPM is to just move the time and make sure it snaps to the grid. And you can be pretty sure it's set to the right BPM now because these loops are created for like four bar. We can also do this if we want two bars, but that's too fast. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna keep it in here. Maybe we'll use it later. 
But now let's actually start making the drums and the bass. So I'm going to start with the drums first. So you know the rhythm is... So that's sort of what we are going for here. Start with the kicks. We can probably do pop kicks. This one is pretty good. Both of these are decent. Not sure which one to use. We're going to start with this one. Snares. Moonbach snares. Moonbach is like similar to reggaeton in some ways. So let's preview it. Maybe some creative snares in the mix. Let's see this kick instead. I think I like that a little bit better. This one, lower the volume. We can even pitch it down maybe. You know? So yeah, just pitching down your samples creates a whole new sample, whole new color, really useful. So yeah, we need more effects, I guess. Maybe some shaker loop. Oh, there's so many loops here. Okay, let's preview some of these shakers here. Maybe even tambourines. Okay, I like it, I like it. And I want something like, you know? So I wanna make a fill here. So we make unique for the drum. And let's see if there is a fill that we could use. Okay, this one, I like. Yeah, I want something like this. But I wanna cut it differently. Like this. Yeah, it's exactly like that, but maybe we actually do it ourselves here. And maybe we'll lower it like this. Maybe go to piano roll, hold the alt key, and put more notes here. So we want to put this one a little bit off beat. And we're going to change the sound as well. Okay, now we need to add the bass. So for the bass, I might just use Boo Bass actually in FL Studio because I think that one actually might work pretty well. So I'm thinking like switching between octaves here. Or notes like this. So I feel like that's good for reggaeton. A bass like this. But let me see. We want to really have the bass frequencies only. Let's see if it fits with the guitar. So yeah, uh, for the reggaeton bass, you want to like have this rhythm of switching between one note and then another note. And F is like the root note. So then we go higher. So yeah, let's uh, hear the whole thing there. And also let's make sure to sidechain the bass as well. Okay, so far it's all right. We're gonna need to add some more things to make it better. But yeah, in case you wanna get the sample pack that I'm using as well, which is Kashmir Volume 4, you can check it out in the link below. You actually get pretty much everything in the sample pack. You got drum loops, you got drums, instruments, song starters, synths, vocals. And not only that, but you have everything categorized by genre. So you can see we have dance drums, disco, lo-fi, synthwave, moonbach, hip-hop, 
and a lot more. So many effects, so many live instruments that are recorded, just a lot of high quality sounds for your music production. So if I could only have one sample pack in my whole computer, this would be it. Kashmir definitely has the best sample packs. I use them in every video and you should too. So go check it out yourself, link below, and now let's continue producing this song. Okay, so we have this so far. So maybe when we have the fill, we actually turn off some of the other sound. Let's see if we can bring in the chant, which I doubt. I mean, it's not bad. I would love to implement the chant somehow, but I don't think it's going to be possible. So let's see if we can bring in the vocal. We're going to put it on channel number eight. We're going to sidechain it, but just a little bit, you know? So we're going to lower the mix. So I'm doing sidechaining with Kickstart, but you can do it with FL Studio plugins as well, like the limiter or with a fruity low filter. I have tutorials for that as well, so you can check them out, link below. But let's hear it now. It's great. I love it. It's so chill, you know, like a really chill Latino. So yeah, I put some uh, reverb on the vocal and boosted the high frequencies a little bit. So now we have this. I want to add some melody, of course, because that's my favorite thing to do in every song. But I'm thinking, should we add some effects before that? Like impacts, you know? I'm not sure if that's the genre for that. Sure, we can add some. And now we hit it with the melody. So we have a lot of instruments here that we could use. So many live instrument loops. And yeah, that would be a shortcut. And I'm gonna try it anyways, because I just wanna hear it. So let's see how it would sound if we just put it in. So again, we're gonna put Kickstart plugin on here. We're gonna sign chain the melody and some reverb. Strings, I love like these effects. I know this is probably not what I'm gonna use, but I just wanna play with some loops here because it's fun, okay? Oh my god, that's actually really good. <laughs> that's, that fits in there really well. Oh my god, so many amazing loops. I just need to test it out. I can't not do it, you know? When I hear a crazy loop, I just want to hear how it sounds in the song. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Auto. Oh my god, that's so fun. Like, whoever makes these packs, they must have had so much fun messing around sometimes, you know? Okay, so I tried some loops, as you can hear. I had some fun. Uh, let's actually try to implement my own melody, just to see if we can do it. And then we're gonna decide which one is the best. So I was thinking marimba. So yeah, I'm just making the melody here, just listening to the song, thinking about the melody in my head, and then transferring that into the piano roll. But here, there is like an empty space. So I want something in there, and perhaps it's another vocal, maybe some phrase. Come on, I like, I 
like it like that. I like it like that. Not sure if that's going to be good, I but like it like that. we'll just try something, you know. I like it like that. I mean, that's pretty good. I like it like that. I like it like that. And then the same one, but set a little bit differently. Let's try to layer this sound with another one. And I'm thinking this guitar that I like a lot. So we're gonna select all of this and control L to make them longer. Okay, let's try a different one. Maybe some brass. Okay, we can add something to the vocal, maybe even stereo shaper, to make it more like left and right instead of in the middle of the mix. Let's see. I like it like that. And reverb. I like it like that. Okay, it's pretty good. And at the end, we need to make a variation here to show everybody that it's the ending, you know? Yeah, exactly like that. I like it like that. Now let's just color it. And reggaeton is happy colors, right? Yellow and orange. Something like that. And for mastering, let's just put soft clipper in here so we don't clip. And that's it. Let's have a listen. there we have it there is our reggaeton beat i actually had a lot of fun making this thanks to dharma worldwide for giving me the sample bag it was a lot of fun playing with the samples and different loops make sure to check out this sample bag it really has it all drums for all kinds of genres even orchestral drums and a lot of effects vocals synth sounds the list goes on so if you want to check it out yourself link is below as always thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye